Hello, my buddies. Welcome to a setup video with Kim Tech. My name is Kim. Today, we'll be unboxing and setting up the Asus Zen Wi-Fi BQ16 Pro Wi-Fi 7 quad band mesh system. It's a two pack that includes two router units and is marketed that it covers up to 9,600 square feet with seamless Wi-Fi coverage. If you're eager to get them up and running, you can jump straight to the setup section using the timestamp below. If not, let's get on with the unboxing. ASUS recommends using the unit with the main unit sticker as the primary router unit. However, if you took the sticker off before you started the setup and forgot which one it is, then it's totally fine. No need to panic. They're actually the same because I was able to set up my network with them switched around. Anyway, download the ASUS router app if you haven't already. While the app is downloading, disconnect your old router, and if your modem is like mine, which likes to cache itself, then restart it as well. Now, for the initial setup, place both of the iMesh units close to each other, preferably in the same room and at least one meter apart. If you set the satellite unit, which ACES calls a node, in the location where you normally have your satellite or node unit, then it may not be picked up during your setup. Although the instruction says to be one meter apart, but I was able to get away with less than one foot apart. I needed to get both of them in the frame. Once you have both of the units together, power both on and connect your modem to the main unit using the WAN slash LAN1 10 gig port. When the LEDs on both of the units turn solid blue, they are ready for setup. Open the ASUS router app on your phone, scroll to the bottom of the end user license agreement. You're free to read it if you have time to spare. Tap I am above the age of 16 years when you get to the bottom of the screen and tap accept. Do the same for the ASUS privacy notice, scroll to the bottom and agree. Tap allow to allow the ASUS router app to find and connect to the ASUS router units. The setup will not work if you tap don't allow. Tap setup to set up a new network. Tap ASUS Zen Wi-Fi series. Scroll down till you see the BQ16 Pro slash BE30000. Tap enable camera and scan to scan the QR code on the removable clear plastic strip on the main unit or the label at the bottom of the unit. Tap allow to allow the ASUS router app to access your camera to scan the QR code and capture the device icon. 
then tap join. Now, if you get the notice that connection failed when it's searching for the ASUS router, just tap OK and select manual Wi-Fi connection instead. It should auto-connect to the ASUS default Wi-Fi network. If not, then go to your Wi-Fi and connect to it. The SSID is at the bottom of your router in case you don't know the name of the ASUS default network. It will search for the ASUS router again. Once the ASUS router app has found the device, you'll be presented with the system setup screen. Tap get started. It will start detecting your internet connection status. If everything checks off, then you can start creating your new Wi-Fi network. Type in the SSID, what the name of your network should be, and its password. I recommend leaving the separate Wi-Fi network box unchecked so the router doesn't separate your network into a lot of separate Wi-Fi names based on the Wi-Fi band. The router can do its own switching internally of which band you should be on based on the load. Unless you want to select the different network bands separately and have a bunch of SSIDs, then feel free to separate the network. Anyway, tap next and next again to create an IoT network or select setup later if you do not want to set it up now. Just an FYI, this IoT network is going to set up your guest Wi-Fi if you tap next on this screen. Go ahead and create your local login account. This is going to be the admin account that can manage the router. Tap next when you're done and it will start setting up your network and applying your settings to the main router and joining your node. When it's activating your mesh network, the LED on your node will blink blue for a few minutes, which means that the node is syncing with the router. Let it do its thing of setting up your network by applying your settings. When prompted to join your new network, tap join. It will continue with a system setup, this time for network optimization of joining your node. And when you see the your network is operating perfectly screen, tap finish. You can enable or cancel the notification service to receive notification from the app. I tapped cancel here. The ASUS router app will prompt you to enable or skip the enabling of remote connection. This allows you the ability to manage your routers through a secure encrypted channel when you're not on the home network because you're not at home. Since I'm using an iPhone for my setup, I was prompted from the Apple settings to whether allow the ASUS router app to send me notifications or not. If yours does that, it's up to your preference if you want to receive the notification. I opted for don't allow here. Anyway, back to enabling remote connection. If you want to enable it, you have the option to connect using Google account, ASUS ID, Facebook, Apple, or WeChat. However, I skipped it because we currently don't need it and we are done. Your network should be up and running. If for some reason you need to add a node later on to your network, just bring the node in the same room as the router. Turn on the node and make sure that the LED is at a solid blue before adding it. From the web GUI, go to asusrouter.com, sign in with your admin account, go to iMesh, add iMesh node. It will start searching for the node. And if you want to add it from the ASUS router, tap on the plus icon at the top right hand corner and at the iMesh node. It will start looking for the node and start setting it up. This part honestly took around 10 minutes for me when I was testing the ability to add the node separately. Maybe it was just my node that was way too close to the router unit. Not sure why it took so long. I ended up closing out of the select a device to join screen after about four minutes and 30 seconds and saw that the node had already been picked up but showing offline. The app was still sending the configs to it because the LED on the node was blinking blue. If that's the case for you, then you just have to wait it out. The ASUS node eventually finished the setup on its own and picked up a valid internal IP address. And selecting not seeing your devices unfortunately doesn't allow you to search for the device with a different method or anything of that sort. It will only bring up a prompt from ASUS recommending some actions you can try 
in helping the node to be found. Now, if you selected set up later on the IoT network screen or want to change your guest Wi-Fi, you can do so in one of two ways, via the ASUS router app or the web GUI. From the app, go to settings, network, select on the guest network you currently have to make changes, or tap the plus icon to add another one. On the web GUI, sign in with your admin account and go to network. This is where you would create or edit your existing guest network. When creating a guest network, there are plenty of customizations to consider. For instance, Wi-Fi scheduling is enabled by default with two options, scheduled, which allows you to specify certain day or time for when the guest Wi-Fi is going to be available. Then there is one-time access. The name explains how it works. It's pretty much a one-time access when you turn it on for however long you want it to last. This may work better for you if you're about to have a big party at your place and you don't want your guests using your main network. Then there's the option to choose which Wi-Fi band you want to offer to the guest network or none at all. You can also limit the bandwidth of your guest network with the bandwidth limiter. And if for some reason you only want your guest network to be broadcasting from one of the routers instead of both, you actually have the ability to do so. Now, when the change is being applied, your network connection may drop for a very short period of time as it's updating itself with the new settings. If you want to get fancy after you've created your guest network, you can enable Mac filter, which you can add a bunch of accepted Mac addresses or rejected ones, and you can create more than one guest network. Finally, I'd like to share with you a troubleshooting tip that I experienced during my setup. If you're seeing a notice with a yellow color box outlining the 10 gig WAN LAN 1 port here on the app, then do a speed test. If speedtest.com is too slow and doesn't load on your computer or cell phone, then you can do a speed test from the ASUS router app or the web GUI. On the app, go to settings, QoS, internet speed, and tap go. On the web GUI, go to asusrouter.com, sign in with the admin account you created, click on adaptive QoS, internet speed, and click go. If the result is not even close to your ISB, internet service provider, what you bought, especially if you connected via the wire to the main router, then consider switching the ethernet cable that connects between the main router and modem. I don't know if it was just the Ethernet cable that came with our ASUS box, which is a CAT6, but the cable gave us the same speed as an old CAT5 cable which I had laying around that needed throwing away. Anyway, I was getting 90-something Mbps. I tested with the previous TP-Link Ethernet cable, and it was giving me the correct speed of around 500 Mbps. So I ended up buying a Cat8 cable on Amazon, which fixed the problem. In short, the Ethernet cable that came in our ASUS box was either faulty or something was up with it. Now that we're done with the setup, I'm going to spend some time testing these fellas. So please stay tuned to see what I have to say about them in a future video. Also, it's worth noting that the setup was done with an iPhone but if you have an Android device, the process should still be very similar. Anyway, hope you all find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it down below. Thank you again for watching this video and have yourself a nice day or night wherever you are, my buddies. Until next time, bye.